welcome back to the channel and in today's video i will be doing what if the grizzlies didn't draft hashim the beat and if you don't know who hashim the beat was he was the second pick in the 2009 nba draft he was drafted before ricky rubia who's not a very known person well he's known but like he's not as good as the other people that were drafted after him known as stephen curry and james harden and so this is a new start of a series, what if? So what if the Grizzlies didn't draft Hashim Thabit? So what if the Grizzlies didn't draft Hashim Thabit? If the Grizzlies didn't draft Hashim Thabit, maybe we draft Stephen Curry with the second overall pick. And if the Grizzlies draft second, if they, if they draft Stephen Curry with the second overall pick, does that mean Will Mike Conley end up turning into anything? Or will Mike Conley just be a solid bench for Steph Curry? But, or, before, before the 2014 season, who will be the starter? Mike Conley or Stephen Curry? Stephen Curry was obviously good between, before the 2014-2015 NBA season. But that was the NBA season. They won their first NBA championship. And really, we, we really saw who Stephen Curry was. And... So it might kind of be the starter till then, and then they'd realize how good Stephen Curry was, and then start him. Would that mean the Grizzlies would win an NBA championship? And if Stephen Curry was drafted by the Grizzlies, does that mean Kevin Durant does not go to the Warriors in 2015-2016? I don't know. But also, if the Grizzlies draft Stephen Curry... Then who do the Warriors draft? Do the Warriors go and draft Hashim to be with the seventh pick? Or is he gone and they end up drafting James Harden instead? Or Ricky Rubio? Or or any of those other guys in that draft? But do the Grizzlies win a championship? And by the way, do the Warriors win a championship without Stephen Curry? And if the Grizzlies get Stephen Curry... Would that mean in 2019, would they get John Morant? I don't know. They might not get John Morant because they might be too good to get John Morant, and they might be a team. And I think if, if the Grizzlies wouldn't have drafted Hashim to beat and they took Stephen Curry, I believe the Grizzlies would win at least, at least two championships because in 2014, they still had Mark Saul, and they, they were still really good, and they still had Zebo, still had Tony Allen. In 2015, they still had all those guys, and they're still pretty good. And then Mike Conley... Would he still be on their team or would he went somewhere else? And if he wouldn't have went somewhere else, would he be a solid bench player? And, yeah, that's that's really what would happen. I think they would win about at least two championships. They would win, I would think they would win at least two championships just because I think Mark would still be amazing and um, Zach Randolph would still be really good and Tony Allen would still be really good. And if Stephen Curry's on the team, does Tony Allen become a good shooter? If they dra end up drafting Stephen Curry, would Tony Allen become a good shooter? He might have, but we don't really know. And But the other options, if the Grizzlies with the second pick didn't draft Hashim the beat, if they drafted James Harden. If the Grizzlies drafted James Harden, then would Tony Allen end up being an asset on that team and become on that team? Would the Thunder make it to the 2012 NBA championship? I don't know. There's a lot of things here. Will the Rockets end up making it to the playoffs soon? Nobody really knows. But I think if the Grizzlies had James Harden, they would at least, at least win one championship. I know James Harden hasn't won a championship, but in 2016, Mark Gasol, Zach Randolph, Tony Allen, and... Mike Conley would all be better people alongside him than the players he had alongside him. I don't can't remember if Chris Paul came in 2017 or 2016, but if Chris Paul had came in 2016, then that would be way better. All Mike Conley, Mark Saul, Zach Randolph, and Tony Allen. And Tony Allen might come off the bench, and I don't even know if he ends up being on that team with James Harden being there, but all of those players would help out way, way more. The, all those that was played would help out way more than I do, I think James Harden ever had on the Rockets, which I could say they might win one with James Harden, but I could confirm they'd win two with Stephen Curry. 
seeing what Stephen Curry did with those teams, winning three. What feels like four or five, but it was really just three. And um, and even if the Grizzlies didn't draft Hashim to be, and they drafted Ricky Rubio, who Ricky Rubio is not. He's not a Stephen Curry. He's not a James Harden. But look at Ricky Rubio now. He's a solid. He's a solid player. Would Ricky Rubio still be on the Grizzlies, being a solid bench piece? I know this one wouldn't be as interesting as what if the Grizzlies drafted Hashim to beat. But if did if this isn't as interesting as if the Grizzlies didn't draft Hashim to beat and drafted Steph Curry as James Harden. But if they drafted Ricky Rubio. Maybe he comes off the bench, and he's a solid bench player for his career. And I don't know. Maybe he would be really good backing up Mike Conley. And then say, when would would he change that much? I don't know if he would change that much. But he really could. Sometimes a solid bench player changes a lot. Like, look at last year when the Clippers were an 8 seed. If you took Lou Williams away from that team, that team would not have been the 8 seed. They would have, they would have been close to the playoff push, but that – if. That Clippers team last year, that was the eight seed. If you took Lou Williams off that team, that team would not have been an eight seed. That shows just how much a just a bench piece can do for your team. And then again, what if the Clippers took with the first pick Hashim Thabit, and with the second pick falls Blake Griffin, who originally was taken with the first pick. But if the Clippers would have taken Hashim to beat, and the Grizzlies would have gotten Blake Griffin. Then maybe Blake Griffin goes on to that team, and maybe Zach Randolph is important. Or in those first years, is Zach Randolph better than Blake Griffin? It really depends. I don't. And the Grizzlies really would have a good chance at betterness with Blake Griffin on that team. And um, Blake Griffin, I don't know if he'd win a championship, but he would help the team out a lot. Blake Griffin would. And Blake Griffin would help the team out a ton. And so, yeah, uh, Blake Griffin would help out a lot. And Blake Griffin would really help the offense. He would bring a lot of excitement to the team. So, yeah, thanks for watching this video. This was a start of a new series on this channel. What if, what if, and what if the Grizzlies didn't, draft Hashim to beat with guys like Ricky Rubio, Steph Curry, and James Harden being drafted at him after him and right before him what and right before him where Blake Griffin was drafted. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.